Hi, today we're going to see how to create a Drust effect in GIMP using GIMMICK. We will put the link of this image in the description box. So the first thing we need to do is to select this clock here. So I'm going to select the ellipse selection tool. And now make sure to check the expand from center and then the fixed. And now I'm just going to start my circle here from the center. So here. And now I'm just going to try to adjust it so that I select lock and don't select the background. So here, I think it's okay here. And now press enter. And now I'm going to copy this selection here, this clock here, control C to copy, and then control V to paste. So here, as you can see, it's floating selection. So click on this icon here to paste it on a new layer. So here it is, if I hide this one. And now I'm going to select this one here we just created. Right click on it, layer to image size. And now go to filters and then GIMMICK. So here it is. And I just type here DROST. And now make sure to click on continuous DROST. So here it is. So as you can see, there are many settings here. I'm just going to explain some of them. So for the inner radius, this will control, for example, number of spirals here. It's going to create outer radius, same. So periodicity number of times the spiral is repeated. So here, for example, the zoom. So here you can move it on the X axis. So here it's the starting level where the spiral is going to start. I'm going to bring it back to one. And now for the hyperdrust, it will distort the layer with another effect. If you uncheck it and check the Style poles gives another effect. And now, if you mix them, you'll be able to use the fractal point slider and create some fractals. So here it is. So now I'm going to uncheck these two. And here, this controls the external transparency. And for no transparency, it will remove the transparent areas here. So I'm going to uncheck it. Here, you can show the grid. And if you want to check more about this article, you can click on this link here. It will take you to the page here where you can learn more about this filter here. So now I'm just going to click on reset here to reset it. And now I'm going to a little bit show play a little bit with the rust. And here play with the str strands here it will increase the twist here. So here, as you can see, it's not really good. So if you bring it back here, it will become as if you are scaling down the layer. So I don't want that. So I think I'm going to leave it here and now press OK. So here it is. So let's see the before and the after. So here it is. That's how you can create a Drost effect in GIMP using GIMMICK. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and uh, till next time.